Hello and welcome. I'm Johnny B. And I'm the Restless Geyser. But together we are Modeling for Advantage. Dude, what have you done? Victory at sea, innit? What? Why um, have you got another box set? Another box set, yep. Yeah. Uh, in, in his full disclosure, I bought one of these, but Warlord also sent us one of these for review purposes. Buy which one. Is nice. Get I'm one free. It's not like they contacted me. I was like on the phone begging. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have Please. a free one? Let's have a look at. It's funny so. this, a lot of people have seen it. Because it was pre-COVID hype. No, a lot of release. Hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, were, you were hyped for this. Stoked for it, mate. We um, got it. And then the release has been delayed for months and months and months and months and months. So we kind of had that. Yeah. But, but now it's that's going to affect. Well, didn't you say they're having a bit of they trouble? They're satisfied the demand, yeah. Right, so the it's still there. People pre ordered this months ago. Anyways, yeah. upside yeah. down. So here it is Battle for the Pacific. And Backed. it's really good because. So this is part of that. Um, Thing, while we're on pocket packaging, shall we just chat away a bit? Yeah. So, so what you're looking to find in their search oh, is yeah, on the mate, back tell here. Oh, yeah, Tell them. Blah, blah, blah. Tell them the words. A4, 32-page Battle of the Pacific Rules Manual. Oh, yeah, Fact. manual, yeah. Battle of the Pacific Punch Board. So I'm guessing that's... Yeah, right. Okay, that's tokens Punch. and stuff. 15 Warlord resin model ships, including... Nice. Names. We've got blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, Ship yeah. cards times 15. Yeah. Blue ten-sided dice, Get white it. sided six. White sided dice. White sided dice. <laughs> Can you imagine a white sided white, D6? White sided white. White sided six dice. White sided six dice. White -sided six dice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you get your C mat. You get damage sliders. You get your and C what? The mat. Okay. C mat. C mat. Okay. And a warlord resin information leaflet, which I hope is made from resin. Wall of resin not? information leaflet. It is not. not made of resin. It does falsely claim that this is not a toy. Anyone who plays war games who reckons that they're not playing with toys is just is just convinced it's, they're yeah. doing it themselves. Not for children, no. Not for Don't kids. feed these to infants. They contain toxic materials. So you get rules and stuff. Yeah, you get rules and stuff. We love. So what rules. do you want to look at first? Look, punch look board. This? All right, yeah, go on then. What's that? You get you get a you get a doofer. You go into World of Warships, mate. Invite code, fast. and you get free stuff on World of Warships. Look, you get little blue crates and things and flags. I've actually played a bit of World of Warships, and I'm rubbish at arcade games, but I do I do like ships. <laughs> I love me I love me a handsome sailor and a tall ship. You yeah, know what I mean? I bet you do, sir. I bet you do. White sided six dice. Uh, These proper are chunky funny. little got... little dice. I don't know what they're chunky, but they're small, but they're creamy. I mate. love. Yeah, that's that's a lie then. They said white sided. They said white sided. These are definitely um, they're like These are bone dice or something, but dinky. How do they roll, mate? How do they roll? They roll they like sound, white sided dice. They sound alright. They sound like white sided I mean, dice. I gotta say there's something about the value proposition for me about uh, a starter set in the quality of the dice that it includes. Like sometimes I feel they've really cheaped out on the dice. But I know, and they probably know, that in most cases, people... Look, you've already got your own This dice. is not blue. Should it Bat. be blue? Should it be blue? Four blue ten-sided dice. Did it actually say blue on Says the Says it on the back. Did it really say Naughty blue? Naughty people. It does say that it should be blue. Interesting. Right. Irrelevant, but interesting. Irrelevant. Right, unit cards and bits. So, uh, you've not played Cruel Seas and Black Seas, have you? No, I've watched you play um, the old Bashing Bishop. <laughs> yeah, the, the Blundering Bishop. Blundering Bishop, apologies. Right. So, uh, which has been quite cool. The unit cards, they're nice. They're a lot cleaner looking, you know, nice. And they've got that look like they were written on a 40 year old they, typewriter. They've thing. even got little coffee stains and stuff. Yeah, marks and stuff on there. Smudges. You got your hit point tracker on the side, but. It's a nice silhouette of the ship. I like that. Is that going to help, do you think? It's going to help you identify which model A it little is. bit, mate. I'm just Although seeing, these models, I think they've written on the I'm side where the models are. They, they look very similar. It is a black well, they line. They look similar to you, sir. It's a black line with little things coming out the top of it. Completely different funnel arrangement, mate. I do not. I'm, that, not when I'm glancing one's at it. One's got an Atlantic bow and one's got a not an Atlantic bow. I forget the name of the other. A bulging bow. Ah, mate, you're not. You're not just in for this. It's just a black line. Just a black line. But yeah, these cards, they, they feel nice. They've got a nice weight. You know, they're not just flimsy bits of paper. Sometimes this stuff, I think, really lets the game down. It can do. It really can. But these, yeah, as you say, they these, look all right. These, though, 
Didn't These you have like some trouble with that? Case? Well, because they just kind of pick, they're a paper paper clip. They incline to rip a little bit. But for Black Seas, those companies make little MDF trays you can put them in with sliders. Is it worth? And I think it's worth looking at that. Right. If, if you, you know, once you try the game a few times. Sliders. Sliders. That's boring. Ships. We're going to talk of ships. All right, then, let's talk ships. You open your first baggie. My first baggie, sir. Yeah. Oh, have what you got the, the big ones? Oh, look, John's at that. What does it say on the bag, John? Which bag have you opened? It says... There's three bags here. Victory at Sea, Star, US Ships. Resident. US Ships, yeah, okay. Fine. US Ships. And mine was packed by Becky. Thank you, Becky. Appreciate and me that. too. Thanks, Becky. Yeah. It's a common name. Could be more than one pick. Whoa! These are, these are bigger than I thought they were going to they're, be. They're quite... I think this is made with Warlord Resin, mate. It is, and it's a bit... It's a bit soft, isn't it? It's a bit... But it's bendy. It's a bit bent. Is yours bent? It's a bit... At the end. Oh, the, sh the whole ship bends. The whole ship sort of, you know, like it's coming, coming up. I was not ready for that. Uh, Portland class cruiser. Fortunately, it says it on the side there. And this one is the Indianapolis. Northampton. Right, so the thing about this Warlord resin, if you ask me, that's what they're calling it. This is a lot like Battlefront soft plastic. It's a little bit... Oh my days, John! <laughs> it's not that bendy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Me! <laughs> that was unscripted. So, Which ship do we need was, a replacement for? Uh, Chicago. Don't bend them too much. <laughs> <laughs> Poland is down, mate. Poland is down! <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, we've got another one, it turns out. <laughs> I've still got... <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't touch it. Give me this. <laughs> Man, shit. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, fuck. Just so you know, by the way, the ships are 15 quid. Oh, each. my God. <laughs> the cruisers, anyway. Is... Oh. <laughs> that was quite impressive. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, man. It wasn't malicious. You alright, John? Yeah. You alright, John? Yeah. Right, so, we looking Warlord resin, mate. Mine's packed by Becky. Becky, thank uh, you. Thank you, Becky. Looking at the Ameri American ships, these are the three cruisers. So we've got uh, the Northampton. Fact. We've got the Chicago. Fact. And we've got the Portland. And we get you some stills of these so you can have a bit of a look. Boop, boop. But, but, see, when they originally previewed this stuff, the, the guns and the, like, the conning towers, some of the radar mass, stuff like that, they were metal bits. But this has now obviously been made with this new Warlord resin, which is that stuff. It's a bit like the Battlefront plastic. It's a bit bendy. It's a bit see-through. I think that's that's how thin it is, though, isn't it? I think once you get some paint on it, that'll all disappear. On the plus side, they have kindly put on the sprue side. Of the name, which oh, ships which ship it goes so with? So that's that's helpful. Thank you very much. Yes, sounds that's a bit quite good. Sounds a bit rainy out there. So you get three, three US cruisers, thirty great big cruisers. Yeah, three US cruisers. These models are a lot bigger than I thought they were, though. To be honest, what were you? I thought they'd be maybe three, four inches long. This thing, this is thing three. is cruiser at five inches along the base, which means the battleships are going to be six, seven carriers. It's going to be carriers big. are going to be mental big then, right? They're going to be big, yeah, absolutely. Thank you for that, Becky. So we got some more ships. We got some Japanese Japanese ships. Resin. Yeah. All right. So as we look at the Move Japanese the ships. So, so these have got a very different aesthetic Thanks. to them. Thank you. A, that is, it, is it Radika? Yeah, that one. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So these have got d different kind of turret rings. The American one's very much just plugged in by the looks of things. Yeah, these ones sit on Whereas top. Whereas these kind of sit on a, on a ring, don't they? But, you know, as I'm looking that at is. this, some of these 
one of these is a, is a light cruiser, I think. This uh, for a Taka. It's quite low in the water. And they all seem looking. quite low in the water. But these these guns are holding a lot of detail, you know, John. I don't know how well they'll see because they're really quite small mm. pieces. But these are still six inches. What is throwing me a little bit is that they're not of a uniform height above the water. The bases are of different depths. This one feels quite a bit lower than the others. Also, I am seeing they're that. Not yep, quite flat. I don't know how easy that is to fix. I mean, there's business with blanching things in hot water, right? Uh, I, I the inevitable just, consequences of making anything out of resin. Take a lighter to it, mate. It's take fine. a lighter to it. Set fire to it. So you've got three American, three Japanese cruisers. Yeah, they're all right. They're all right. And then we get a bag of destroyers. Uh, so, I mean, to be looking at the level of detail on this, I don't know what they could cast them in other than res. They, well, they could cast them in metal, and companies like Skytrex historically have done that. Yeah. These do seem to be genuinely, I'm not just saying that because they sent us a free one. What are we talking They feel like they've got wise? better detail on them. Oh, yeah, you can't, I you know, for what it is, it's, it's holding a fair amount of detail. It's holding a fair say. amount of detail on it. You know, and especially for the smaller components, like the guns and the conning towers and so forth. Really pleased with those. Again, okay. we'll get you some stills up. Fact. I mean, a lot of you have already seen this, so I don't think yeah, we should. We're true. not going to no long this out, man. Um, you know, I could bore you to tears with the details of Japanese night all cruiser the, attacks. All that matters, war. they're made of resin and they're bigger than you thought they were They're a lot be. bigger than I thought. The so. detail is good. They're not like any resin product. They're not all flat. They look like they bend a bit, but not a lot. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try that, no. to be honest. Cardstock, though, which is an important part. These components are important for gameplay. Which There's is a lot going they're on, they're man. Good, they're good quality. I think when they went Cruel Seas, then Black Seas, there was a change in the cardboard quality, and this has gone back to the, the better yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's pretty solid there. You know, Getting turning gizmos. If you need tokens in your game that you're going to print on cardboard, make them nice, make yeah. them durable, yeah. and they are. For sure. Last few bits in here then. We've got a rule book, and we get a couple of... And I'm a big fan of this, even though I don't need it. Paper mats so you can play. Boom. You got two four foot two. play mats. But that gives you some idea of how big this game is. Pretty big. You're giving you eight foot across a play mat. But just just that, you know, to buy that separately is gonna be fifteen quid. It's worth a play mat. Yeah. So including yeah. it in the start set. So you don't have to like play it on your duvet or something. Oh you got you got a I couple think that would mats. actually be better. Playing it on the duvet. Blue duvet. Do you reckon? Cover. Mate, let's do it. Right, rule book. This is a much smaller rule book than Cruel Seas or Black Seas. It's more of a rules booklet. What I don't know about this game, though, <gasps> is whether Victory at Sea was a rule system that already existed. And I don't know whether they've kind of ported over someone else's product. You know, they've franchised it or yeah. whatever. But I've not, I've not played the previous one. But the booklet... There's nothing wrong with this booklet at all, but it is different to the other, the previous two, the Black Seas and the Cruel Seas, in that it isn't heavily stylized. You know, there's not like sidebars with little bits of potted history. There were like all the, all the pictures in the Cruel Seas ones where they were quite sort of, um, you know, those like 1970s boys cartoon right. strips yeah. where you're like fighting Nazis and stuff. All the Nazis look slightly it's sinister. All, of that. And everyone's all the British guys are all a bit like 10% more manly than they <laughs> <laughs> than they probably would be. Those sort of woolly jumpers and like, whoa, eat this, Fritz. Had that feel about it. Whereas this, not a lot in here, is there, of that. This is, there's, there's I, I, I mean, nice I've, I've not looked at the art. rules. It's, a, it's, not, it's not that it's a poorly laid out rules book. No. But it isn't flavoursome in the way that the other ones were. Do you know what I mean? If somebody passed me this rule book, I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel I was plunged into the Pacific water. There's no sort of screaming kamikaze pilot on the front with a really tight bandana <laughs> with a big, you know, you, you know rising sun. And there's a few the bits in there. You've got nice miniatures. Miniatures are shown. Been painted, you know. So we, we're we going to have a look at trying to get a game. Like everything. I'm Within stoked the next about 10. this. But it's a game that me and Johnny B can play like on the table here with unpainted miniatures and don't really know what we're doing. Yeah. But before we, you get to watch it, 
we have to have some idea what we're doing and have painted the miniatures. Just a little bit. And there is quite the queue for what we're painting, but we'll hope to see it at <laughs> some point. Um, so what's missing from here, John? What uh, is missing from here? Why are you asking me that question? Blue dice, no. Blue dice are missing from here. <laughs> um, what's missing from here? What I is missing? Enlighten me. What is missing from aircraft here? Aircraft carriers. Well, if there's something that distinguishes the war in the Pacific from the war in Europe at sea, is that is there out of range of land-based aircraft for most of it? So aircraft carriers are really what it's all about. Now, to be fair, there are plenty of naval actions which are just cruiser actions. But most of it's but, just but where is the, the carriers, right? What is yeah? What is the icon of the Pacific War? And it's it's aircraft carriers, it's fighter pilots, it's that like, it's planes falling into True. the sea on that fire. Is, that is it. That is that it? is the picture. You'd, you'd expect perhaps to have one of those. Yeah. In your well, style. I imagine the model is enormous, and then the fighters and stuff. <laughs> so, anyway, we're gonna have a look at this. Yeah. We were stuff. waffling on far too stuff. long. This is this is for for the money that you pay. This is a good product. Yeah. I looked at the price of these miniatures separately on Warlord. If you're thinking about getting into this and you want this How model range. How much is a battle boat, a big battle boat? I think cruiser. they go for between 10 and 15 quid each. And really? there's 15 models in it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, like the video, maybe leave us a comment. Thank you. <laughs> That's still going on at the end. That's a proper Johnny B special. Did you not think maybe I should bend it anymore? No, I'm just like you were saying it's like Bendy Resin. I'm like, yeah, it's a bit. <laughs> Fuck! I didn't even. You didn't feel the moment. It went. No, I, it just went.